Welcome to the Penny Challenge. It's a fun challenge that just went viral in the art community, especially on Facebook and Instagram. So I thought it could be a cool idea to try it out myself with the coins I have and just see what I can do. The rules of this challenge are pretty easy. Take a small coin and try to draw as tiny as the coin itself. You can use whatever you want to draw or to paint. And you can use any type of money. It don't has to be a penny. What matters is the size. So I have never drawn the small or at least I have never drawn intentionally in this kind of size. And I don't count mindless doodles from my school days. So to make it possible to draw so small, I went for my finest pigment liners I could find. Um, and you can really barely see the tip because they are super fine. And I guess it would have been a super short video if I would only try to draw in the space of a one euro cent. So I went for different cent coins we have here in Germany and start from the biggest coins to the smallest coins. I decided to draw without sketching first. So I tried to start with something from my comfort zone, which is long black hair. And I used the hair as some sort of guideline. So in this way, it was a bit easier for me to locate the face. But in general, I had no plan what I wanted to create. Everything was pretty much spontaneous. And that's why sometimes you will see that I'm adding things or try to change something. I guess it's good to do some mindless doodles if you can't doodle that small. Because even if you screw up, no problem. Start over because you don't have lost a lot of time or supplies. The only thing you might lose are your nerves if you don't like to draw that small. In case if you're wondering if I'm going to color these little pictures, nope. I was super concentrated in doing line arts and I guess I thought they would look better without color. But I have made some other tests with Copic markers and in my opinion the ink bleeds a little bit too much for this size. But if you like I can show you these too so just let me know it in the comments if you want to see them. If I would use color again, I guess next time I would use watercolors because I still have these super small and thin brushes for nail art. And maybe you remember me using these brushes in my tiny sketchbook art video um, with a cute zombie guy. <laughs> if not, I will link it below. Funny thing is that in this video, I used to paint pretty small. And I thought, whoa, this is small, but now I'm doing this challenge and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> why is this so small? So in case you don't know this video, I will link it below. With the 5 cent drawing, I decided to break through the wall and added some more smoky details around the frame. It doesn't really look great, but it was worth a test. And I personally think it's okay to break through the wall if it's just about small details which are not really necessary or to play around doing some experiments and especially if these details are not taking the primary focus away. In my opinion, nothing is killing creativity more than to follow the rules always pretty strictly. I don't know, what do you think about it? For the final drawing, I thought it would be a fun idea to draw a similar picture like in yesterday's video um, of the girl with the roses in the hair. Maybe I should have sketched it before doing the line art, but never mind. Do you know that feeling if you want to save a drawing by adding more details? But the more you do, the worse it gets until you just ruin everything? Well, that just happened now. <laughs> so yeah, I failed. But here's a rose. I personally think it's okay to fail. Not every challenge is a success, so I won't lie to you or cut this part and change it with something that looks perfect in my opinion. This is how challenges are and what they are there for. Challenging you to try out things you won't normally do. Having fun and maybe doing better next time. So what do you think? Should I give it another try for the one cent size? If you would like to see that, just let me know. For now, I want to challenge you to try out the penny challenge as well. 
So if you like, you can tag me or use the hashtag HelloRambu to show me your results. And if you already did this challenge, tag me too. I would love to see your art as well. And by the way, you can use this hashtag every time you want to show me your creations or if you want to get featured in my end card. But this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and like always, stay creative. Bye bye!